thank you for the question. Uh, yes, I am glad to hear, to see Marco Mendicino out. Uh, but, you know, he was just telling a lot of lies on behalf of Justin Trudeau. He lied about the use of the Emergencies Act, claiming police told him to do it. They did not. He lied when he said that Trudeau wasn't going to ban hunting rifles. Well, we then saw that there's a list of about 300 pages of hunting rifles Trudeau planned to ban, and in fact, Trudeau went on to admit that he was banning hunting rifles. He lied about his knowledge of the government's transfer of Paul Bernardo out of a maximum security penitentiary, uh, and he lied about the fact that it was the Liberals' own law that had caused that unacceptable and traumatizing transfer of this monster. But I think he was telling those lies on behalf of Justin Trudeau, though it's all well and good to fire one incompetent minister, but it's Justin Trudeau who should have been fired. The other reason why Trudeau should be fired is because he's allowed foreign po controlled police stations in our country. We don't have enough police of our own protecting our communities, and yet a foreign dictatorship is allowed to open police stations right under Trudeau's nose without any consequences whatsoever. Trudeau was aware that the dictatorship in Beijing interfered in multiple elections to help him win, and he did nothing because he benefited from it. As for the, in, the inquiry, we gave suggested names of independent, highly qualified, nonpartisan potential commissioners who could oversee an, that investigation. We gave a proposed mandate and timeline. And we've given that all to Justin Trudeau, and he's not come back with a final answer. I understand occasionally we get a phone call or the odd email with an incomplete update, but we think Justin Trudeau is delaying. He's delaying an inquiry because he doesn't want the truth about what he knew of Beijing's interference to come out, and possibly because he doesn't want to fix it before the next election. Because, of course, he's benefited from it in two previous elections enough. We need to bring a public inquiry to get to the bottom of it, to come up with a plan to stop it, to bring in a foreign influence registry, to bring in criminal sanctions to anyone who facilitated foreign police stations on our soil. We need to protect our proud and patriotic Canadians of Chinese origin from abuse and harassment, and we need to bring home control of our democracy.